THQ. Racing Prodigy is Class A rating. Recommended opponent, Nitro Burn. Calculating outcome. Projected advantage, Nitro Burn. Some kids play basketball after school. I have a reputation to defend. But if I made time for every wannabe with a nitrous kit that called me on, I'd never get my homework done. Uh-oh. Not good. Distress signal from home base. Time to cut and run. Looks like we'll have to finish this another time, pal. Duty calls. You ain't bailing out of me that easy, Justice. Sure. Whatever. Some people never learn. You ever play chicken? It's easy. The trick is, no matter how bad things look, never shut your eyes. Looking for you, Got home in record time. But I'm still too late. This is more than a simple break-in. Somebody was looking for something. Gearhead! Gearhead is one of Dad's gizmos. What happened? Where's Dad? Location unknown. Can't tell if he got away. I know one thing, though. Somebody's messing with the wrong family. Blasted second-rate security system. I told your dad to take care of that, but no. He was too busy inventing stuff. Forget about that, Gearhead. I'm heading over there to check it out. Wait. Hold on, Max. Sensors have detected explosives in the building. It may not be safe. But all of Dad's plans, and, and his research, and his cars. Now I've really got to go. Dr. Justice is going to kill me for this, but, uh... Okay, Max, but you better hurry up. There's not much time. Get to that engineering plant and don't let anyone get in your way. No problem. If I run across any of those guys, I'll take them out on the way to Dad's lab.
activated. Security breach. Hot Wheels Tire Factory. Unknown intruders. Whoever is in there isn't just looking for a new set of wheels. Oops. Looks like I detected another explosive device. This time, grab it and get rid of it before it goes off. You can drop it off at this abandoned building. Don't worry, it's been scheduled for demolition anyway. Got it. I'll drop off the bomb at the abandoned building. I'm heading out now. Just be careful. Your father would disconnect me permanently if anything happened to you.
work, son. Hmm. Looks like we were robbed after all. And the factory explosion was just a cover-up. Video footage shows Conrad Nitro Byrne and his gang planting that first bomb and then driving off with our cars. We also lost a bunch of computer disks referring to a Velocity X project and some prototype car your dad was working on. So their actual target might have been that prototype car dad was working on? But how do we get all of our cars back? Incoming transmission. Unidentified individual. Searching for matching files. It seems to me I got something you want. There's these bright, shiny computer-type disks with a big ol' X on them. If you're interested, I'd be willing to race you for ownership. Just motor over some dough to cover your end of the bet, and a winner gets to keep the discs. Incoming transmission. Dr. Peter Justice. Gearhead, find out where this race is and get this guy what he wants. Hurry, I need those discs back. Pops, you're okay. Where are you? What's going on? Our shop, the cars. Whoa, Max, slow down. I'm fine. I've been monitoring your communications from a safe location, trying to find out what's really going on. Can I count on you to get the Velocity X research back? We need those disks. Velocity X? But what's... There's no time, Max. Nitro gave us a deadline only minutes away. I've made arrangements with the bank to pick up the money. Gearhead will give you the location for the pickup and drop-off points. Now, I'm counting on you, son, and be careful.
Look, here's the cash in the car, but I don't have the discs, uh, like, on me. I was told to take them over to the refinery and turbine sands. Take it or leave it, I'm out of here. It figures that Nitro lied about having the discs. That lug not deserved having his sorry tailpipe handed to him in that race. I guess he wasn't the real brains behind this operation. Nitro wouldn't know real brains from a radiator. But it makes sense that someone else cooked up the scheme with the bombs. I've been tracking him since you beat him, Max, and he's heading toward a rendezvous point in Turbine Sands. Turbine Sands, Santorino, located. I'm going to Turbine Sands to find out who's behind this. Well, okay. But every transistor in my body says this is a trap.
Turbine Sands area. While you kept them busy, I've been trying to get the scoop on what this gang is attempting to do. What's on those disks that's so important? What does Velocity X mean? In those disks is a complex formula for a new type of racing superfuel that will allow cars to travel at twice their normal speed without breaking down or overheating. Hmm. They also stole a new Hot Wheels car that I was prototyping. This new design allowed the car to actually turn invisible for short amounts of time. It runs on uranium as its power source, and I've learned that a courier is delivering some freshly mined uranium across town. I don't think that's a coincidence. I also believe they are planning on stealing a train to transport our vehicles out of the area. Oh, darn, I need to go. Gearhead, please fill him in on the details. Max, race over to the train depot and stop that train. The tunnel that the train must go through to leave the area is situated near an unstable rock formation. I calculate that if you hit the rocks with enough force, the debris will fall and block the tunnel. Once you've stopped the train, check your radar. Hopefully I'll have the location of the uranium by then. Got it. First the train, then the uranium.
Incoming transmission. Searching database for identity. Backroads voucher. Uh, I told y'all you was gonna be roadkill. Now nah, you've got something I want. Uh, let's talk trade. You got to pony up my glowing metal stuff that you stole from my driver. Hey, just a sec here. Who's calling who a thief? Okay, this here car's my wager, and some information of vital importance to y'all in particular. Perhaps we agrees to a little driving challenge for it, game of desert chicken in order. I hear y'all got some driving talent. Bring it on, Belcher. I'll teach you a thing or two about driving. Uh, meets me at the ghost town and you got the deal. You win and you gets to keep the pretty medal. Yeah. If and I win, I gets the medal and you drive for me and my boss. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me from taking you down, Belch Breath. Is that so? Just for that, I'm sending a few of my boys down to take the medal from you. By force! <laughs> I was gonna get it from y'all one way or t'other. So's if you ain't got the metal here real soon, the deal's off. And don't y'all bother trying to find me. <laughs> All right, Max. You know what you gotta do. The location is now uploaded to your radar.
Now tell us who's behind all this nonsense. Where's our cars? Where's my father's data disks? Uh, you forgot one. Where's Sparky? <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Uh, not me, but that little prickly pear's poking her nose around some sensitive areas in Crankshaft Bay. You may want to find her instead of grilling me with this here nonsense. Good times may be short for your little fair-skinned friend. Gearhead, get a beat on Sparky. I'm on my way home with the goods. She may be in trouble. I'll explain when I get there. Ugh. I should have been a toaster. Well, look who's checking in. It's your girlfriend, Max. What's up, Geary? Max, your dad filled me in on what's been happening. Sorry to hear about the cars and such. Yeah, things are a bit crazy right now. You notice anything suspicious out there? Um, yeah. Got a couple of unshaven types been following me. Really crude fashion statements, too. I was worried about that. Where are you now? Oh, I'll upload my location to Geary, then you can come get me. But you'll need to take a little detour first. What? Where? Well, I was driving around Crankshaft Bay, helping Dr. Justice track down his cars, when I found some pieces of what appeared to be a map. I tried to contact Dr. Justice, but he's kind of incommunicado. You think they could mean something? Well, the papers have names. Dr. Peter Justice and some other guy, a funny name, Otto Von Diesel. Of all the dumb luck, I think the girl is actually onto something. I've seen that name in the database here. So, where's the stuff now? Silly robot. I left them up on the roller coaster by the bay in case I was spotted. I know where that is. I'll go get those maps, and then I'm coming to get you out of there.
Incoming transmission, Dr. Peter Justice. Location unknown. Hello, team. Glad to hear Sparky is safe at home now. Hiya, Dr. Justice. We were just about to decode those maps I found in Crankshaft Bay. Maybe you can tell us more about this Otto Von Diesel. Yes, yes, Otto Von Diesel, but first things first. Max, there's this data disk that I had on me when I left the lab. Probably not safe to keep it on me anymore. Can you come and retrieve it? What? Sure. It just tell me where you are and I'll meet you there. I suspect it's not safe to reveal where I'm hiding. I'll provide Gearhead with the coordinates of the disk and he'll triangulate the location for you. Incoming transmission. Unidentified. Disk coordinates received. Data disk shall be recovered. Uh-oh. I knew our wires were tapped. Oh, this is quite problematic. Otto has obviously resurfaced. Max, go! Get that disk! It contains information on the whereabouts of one of my most special cars! You must get the disk and the car before Otto does! Wait! Y you never told us who this Otto guy was! Explanations later, kid. First you need to get that disk and then get that car. Go!
Well done, my boy. In that car's trunk, you'll find a data cube with the encrypted backup files for the Velocity X project. It will take some time for Gearhead to extract the information, but it's well worth the wait, I assure you. Meanwhile, I must depart. Farewell. Wait, Dad! What about Otto? Incoming transmission. Fast lane for Scotty. Sweet. I wasn't sure if this would work. Now, shall we dispense with the formalities and get right down to the lovely business at hand? <laughs> what do you want? Is leather still in these days? Just a little friendly biz with the Justice Clan. You don't mind, do you? We'll forgive your nasty little escapades in the bay. For now. Get to the point, Fastlane. Ooh, Max. So assertive. This'll be more fun than I thought. I've been instructed to offer you a little racing challenge. You've obviously got some stuff that Otto wants, namely that little uranium shipment, and maybe a cute little car or two. Care to wager? And if I win? Perhaps there's a bit of information that might interest you, or should I say your father? Think quickly, little boy. I haven't got all day to chat. She's all mine, Max. Let me take her. Thanks, Sparky. But I think I should be the one giving her a driving lesson. Let's do this, Fast Lane. This one isn't gonna be a cakewalk, Max. The road's gonna be tough, and don't expect her to play fair or alone.
You may have gained a few points in my book, Max, but don't think this little charade is about me. Next time you get a chance, ask your old man about his old friend, Otto Von Diesel. Wish I could stick around. That'll be quite the juicy little family discussion. <laughs> Later, drive boy. I finished my analysis of that map you picked up at the roller coaster. It's a map of Burnout Glacier. Looks like a meeting is gonna happen with a group of lowlifes, and Otto is with them. Otto was a member of the Hot Wheels engineering team that your father started. They collaborated on many advanced vehicle designs, among other things, until Otto was dismissed for bypassing safety procedures. After that, records indicating his whereabouts have been unclear. Uh, hold on, I think I've got something here. Frequency determination successful. Otto Von Diesel communication system active. Decoding communications. Cool. Two can play at this game. I've managed to target in on Otto's transmission frequency. Let's see what he can tell us. Rocket's telemetry established. Targeting systems locked on Burnout Glacier. Encased volcano determined dormant. Determination of successful activation of volcano based on double rocket impact. Positive. Okay, not good. Max, someone's gotta stop this. Sounds like my work is cut out for me. Swing by that meeting, see what's going on, make my way to the volcano, and disable those rockets before they have a chance to do any harm.
Connection. Dr. Peter Justice. Location unknown. Good work, Gearhead. Max, you have become quite the driving ace. But now we need to talk about that volcano and what those folks are after. Now that he has the formula, Otto knows that volcanic gases are a necessary ingredient for the superfuel I was working on. He tried to force an eruption to capture those gases, but Max foiled that plan. I'm afraid their next move will be to go searching for the collection canister I've been using for my own experiments. So, you want Max to go get your gas can? Precisely. Max, here's the location. I'll be in touch soon. Incoming transmission. Simon Slick DeLuca. You've become quite the pest here, Max Justice. Quite the pest. But I'm afraid your timing belt is slipping a bit, Max. Would you care to wager that little canister you're about to get and save me the trouble of fetching it myself? But I have no reason to bet anything. There's nothing you could possibly have of interest to us. Go back to your mountaintop. Perhaps I show you the way to Otto's hideout. All right, Slick, you're on. Better pack some extra air for when you lose. Meet me downtown after you fetch the gas collector. Winner, take all.
Where'd he go? We need that information. He didn't by some stroke of luck leave a map in his car, did he? Let me check. Yeah, he did. At least he held up his end of the bargain. Most unexpected for a walking, talking air filter. Well, get back here with the map and I'll do an analysis on it. Doc, I finished analyzing the data cube. This data is unbelievable. According to these computations, excessive speeds from the super fuel and the leg warping properties of invisibility, it might just be enough to bend the laws of physics. You could use the new prototype car for time travel? Indeed, my mechanical friend. That's the secret of Velocity X. I halted the research into this formula years ago because of the terrible risks associated with altering time. But Otto could never let it go. Okay, let's say for the moment I buy into this whole Velocity X thing. What would Otto use it for? My guess is that he wants revenge by eliminating our production of Hot Wheels cars. To do this, he still needs to locate the temporal transmission that he and I built in our old lab. It's impossible to control when or where the time travel effect will take you without it. Incoming transmission, Rupert Jacoby. Hello, Peter. Been a long time. You wouldn't perchance be interested in getting that temporal transmission you used to be so proud of. Hmm? Rupert Jacoby. I wondered when you'd show up. How's your boss, Otto von Diesel, doing? Still showing your misguided intentions by following his orders, I see. What's your business in all this? I'm simply inviting your son, Max, to a little exercise of driving showmanship. First, he must get the temporal transmission. And then, in the piece de resistance, he must race me. I'll put up the Velocity X formula as my part of the wager, and you put up the temporal transmission as yours. I can take him, Pops. Let me do it. What does this temporal transmission look like? Where can I find it? Max, I have a bad feeling about this. Rupert was Otto's best driver, but I don't see any alternative. We have to get those original discs back. I'll give the info to Gearhead and he'll guide you. But please, be careful.
Well, you've done a good job at detaining me. Bravo, Max. Congratulations for that feat. No problem, Funnelhead. How about coughing up your end of the wager? Ah, yes. Here are your discs. However, with the time you spent racing me, those two kind gents in your temporal transmission are probably just about at Otto's lair by now. Summary, Max? You lose. Oh, again. Please tell your dad goodbye for me. Ah! Uh, they tricked us! That race was nothing but a diversion. Even though I beat Rupert, his henchmen took the transmission anyways. Oh, I blew it! Yes, it would seem that they have the upper hand. But we mustn't give up now. There may still be time to head off Otto's gang before they get back to his hideout. Then there's no time to lose. Gearhead, track Otto's gang for me. I'm heading out to stop them. Upload their coordinates once you've got a fix on them. You got it, Max. Looks like they're heading into Monument City's underworld. I'm uploading the coordinates now. Good luck, son. Remember, defeat all of Otto's thugs and get that transmission back.
excellent work, son. I'm so proud of you. Now all we need is to get back my prototype car and shut down Otto once and for all. Okay, using Slick's map, I've located their hideout. Hmm, it looks like it's heavily fortified. And I think I've spotted Rupert's engine signature down there. Looks like he went running back to his boss with his tail between his legs. Oh man, these guys didn't kid around with the security. Nobody's gonna be able to just drive in there. Incoming transmission. Unidentified signature. Greetings, Max Justice. I am Otto Von Diesel. I just thought I'd give you the opportunity to say goodbye to the world you know. I will soon be going back in time where I can finally erase you, your father, and all Hot Wheels cars from ever existing. Now wait a minute. You don't even have the super fuel or the temporal transmission anymore. In the end, a minor setback. Do you really think you can prevent me from fulfilling my destiny? Foolish little boy, I made copies of all the files we stole. Your efforts to retrieve the Velocity X discs simply bought me the time I needed to construct the time machine. Thank you, Max. We really couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> we know where you're hiding, and I will stop you, Otto. Ha! I'd like to see you try. Goodbye forever, Max. Well, looks like I've got no time to lose. Upload the position of Otto's base to my radar, gearhead. With a fully charged gadget, I should be able to blast my way in and destroy his computer and all the data it contains. I'll worry about chasing Otto down and disabling the prototype car after his base is toast. Maxwell, these men will do anything, anything to prevent you from succeeding. So be prepared and never let your guard down. We'll be waiting here for you. Good luck!
THQ. Some kids play basketball after school. I have a reputation to defend. But if I made time for every wannabe with a nitrous kit that called me on, I'd never get my homework done. Uh-oh. Not good. Distress signal from home base. Time to cut and run. Looks like we'll have to finish this another time, pal. Duty calls. You ain't bailing out of me that easy, Justice. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Some people never learn. You ever play chicken? It's easy. The trick is, no matter how bad things look, never shut your eyes. I'll be looking for you, Justice. Got home in record time. But I'm still too late. This is more than a simple break-in. Somebody was looking for something. Gearhead! Gearhead is one of Dad's gizmos. What happened? Where's Dad? Location unknown. Can't tell if he got away. I know one thing, though. Somebody's messing with the wrong family. second-rate security system? I told your dad to take care of that, but no! He was too busy inventing stuff. Forget about that, Gearhead. I'm heading over there to check it out. Wait. Hold on, Max. Sensors have detected explosives in the building. It may not be safe. But all of Dad's plans, and, and his research, and his cars! Now I've really got to go. Dr. Justice is gonna kill me for this, but, uh... Okay, Max, but you better hurry up. There's not much time. Get to that engineering plant and don't let anyone get in your way. No problem. If I run across any of those guys, I'll take them out on the way to Dad's lab. <laughs> 